So I'm Miller, bought a-hole here. I just realized my headphones are around my neck. That makes me a a-hole. Obviously, I just said that, so now I'm doubly an a-hole. And we are outside the gym. And today, I wanted to walk you through 10 mistakes that we're all making when we go to the Fitness Palace of Love. And we do it because we don't know any better. So if you are a beginner and you are trying to find your way, this should hopefully be a helpful little guide with stupid stuff that I've done within my lifetime and why you shouldn't be doing it either. So number 10, we don't even need to be in the Fitness Palace of Love. You just need to remind yourself to always have fun. And that's gonna sound ridiculous and you're gonna roll your eyes, but there have been plenty of times over the last 10, 15 years I've been lifting weights, but I haven't been having fun. I haven't been entertaining myself. And you know what? Goodness gracious, that sun is bright. I wanna give up and I wanna quit and I don't try hard enough, which is also gonna tie into this list. So if you are doing something to get in shape and you're not enjoying it, change it today. You don't have to go to the gym. There's a thousand different things you can do. I know I've said this on videos before, but it's the number one thing. I know I put it in at number 10, but that's because of audience retention. It's important. Like you don't, sometimes you quit your job because you don't like your job. So why on earth would you go to something that's more voluntary and continue to kick your own ass? Number nine, as you can probably figure out, is don't do, I got to it quietly because people around me, they think I'm crazy, but don't do cardio before you lift weights. I mean, you can do, but you have to accept that you're going to use up a hell of a lot of energy. So when it's time to be intense, when you're doing your weightlifting stuff, you're not gonna have the same energy as if you didn't otherwise. So now you're saying, well Simon, why are you doing doing cardio? Well, you still wanna warm up. You still wanna get your heart going. You still wanna get a bit of a sweat on. You still wanna prepare your body for the lifting of the weights. So I just do 10 minutes at this pace on the cross trainer, and then I will do some dynamic stretching for a bit just to prepare myself physically and mentally. I don't push it, I don't go crazy, because right now I'm here to lift. I did my cardio this morning, fasted. I hate it every second. Number eight. Don't lift too heavy, right? Everyone wants to come to the gym and everyone wants to start ego lifting and everybody thinks everybody else cares. Trust me, nobody else cares in the gym. You wanna know how I know? Because I'm sat here with a massive camera in my face. There'll be some people looking, then they'll get bored and they'll get back to their own weights. Especially with the over loud music, they will be distracted by that as well. And also you look like this. Number seven, you're not lifting heavy enough. And I know you're going, Miller, this is so confusing. You just said don't lift too heavy, but now you said I'm not going heavy enough because you need to find that pushing point. You want to be aiming for eight to 10 reps or 10 to 12 reps. So hey, you've got the 20 reps, yeah, that's better for you, but you've got to be pushing it and you've got to be making sure you're lifting enough weight to only achieve progressive overload where you're lifting more than you did in your last session, but also so you're achieving hypertrophy. Everyone look at my headphones right now saying, Simon, I'm wondering what you're listening to. I'm listening to the X-Men animated series theme the metal version. And also, don't lift too light because you look like this. Number six is not knowing what you've done. Like, how can you do progressive overload and how can you make sure you're doing better than last time and training harder than last time if you don't sit there and put down what you're training, what you did, how you did here and how you did there. Because then next time, when you've just done biceps, for example, and you get to biceps next week, you can go, oh, hey, I did a 10 kilogram bicep curl. This time I've got to do 15. Now it's number five, jumping from plan to plan. You've got to give your plans time to work. Just because you don't think one is working after a week, two weeks, doesn't mean you start a new plan. Otherwise, again, you're on this weird contraption. You're doing back, you're doing shoulders and your arms at the same time. Ain't no one doing that kind of crazy set. Now, somebody may give you advice where you do have that crazy set, but they're probably nuts. <laughs> it's probably not the right thing to do. Stuff takes time, right? Some of them one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. Sometimes it can be you know, upwards of six months. I know some people that stay on the same program for years because not only are they seeing progress in the gym, they're seeing progress uh, in the mirror, on the scales, and when they're writing stuff down, which ties into the last entry. If you write stuff down, you know you're going in the right direction. Number four is just don't give up. I talk to loads of people who give up saying my training plan's not working, I can't be bothered to do it anymore. You're never gonna get in the game if you take yourself off the bench. Just go back to the start of it all and refigure it out, or maybe get a trainer, just go and find some help. Number three, or whatever it is, I can't show you this today because I'm not training legs, but flip and train your legs. And I know loads of you saying, I train my legs, I train my legs, and good for you. As I always say, you can have a cookie. I come round your house and I give you a lovely cookie. I'm just talking from my own experiences. I used to hate training legs, so I didn't train my legs. And the best way I found to train my legs is just to absolutely go ballistic on them. Like you should be scared of leg day. And when you go in and you have this crazy workout and you're lifting strong and you're lifting big and you're doing squats, all of a sudden it just feels awesome and it feels different from other days. So while we all love working upper body and getting the pump and all that noise, you get to your legs, you just gotta pulverize them. 
you walk out of the gym, you should be wibbly wobbly like you're about to fall down. But do not ignore them and do not go 50% on them just because you don't like doing it. But you need to go doubly so. And again, they're a really hard body part to work and you don't want to do it. And that ties into number 10 on this list. When you don't want to do something, you don't approach it in the right way. So don't do what I did, train legs and don't do crappy squats. That's the other thing I did. I used to go down like just a teeny little bit because otherwise I didn't like it. Number two, which we also can't show in the gym, is don't neglect your diet. We know you're doing that as well. We think we can go to the gym because we leave full of endorphins and other hormones. We're like, man, we need to go home and eat what you want. It's not true. You can't outwork a bad diet. There's a reason I say that phrase all the time. There's a reason that phrase has been around since the dawn of time. It's because it's true. Once your diet is in check, once your training is in check, only then will you start to see the progress you want. And maybe you're happy to be lenient in your diet. That's okay. Again, Titans number 10, you've got to be having fun. But if you truly, truly want to keep progressing, you got to be eating the right things. Number one is making sure that you are intense enough in the gym. We have talked about this a lot recently after I did Ryan Humiston Humiston's workout. But here I am just doing a finisher after shoulders. I ain't lifting that much weight. I think they were 14 kilograms. But even then, when I'm trying to do sort of high reps to finish stuff off, you've got to push it. You've got to go crazy. You've got to feel like I don't want to do this anymore. This really hurts. Whereas my mum, I desperately need a hug because it's so easy to fall into a routine. It's so hard to think that we are training hard enough, but actually realize that no, we're not. And training hard doesn't mean you have to go to failure every time. Training hard doesn't mean you have to do a bunch of drop sets and supersets or partial reps, you should utilize those methods and you should utilize those techniques as you should utilize, you know, exercises that you wouldn't do all the time like this. This is a really strange one where I'm not doing it great there, where you tuck your elbows and you kind of lessen the load a little bit, but you really focus on those deltoids. But you just have to make sure, you have to remember, I've said this a lot recently, but it's massively important. You have to remember that you are there to have a good time because you enjoy it, but there should also be a level of effort there where you really have to be honed in and you really have to be focused. I mean, let's face it, that's why you guzzle down pre-workout shakes before you go to the gym. So there you go. A bunch of tips to hopefully help you in your gym as you progress. You don't have to listen to me. You can ignore me entirely and you can do all of them. They are just things that have helped me throughout my fitness life in the Fitness Palace of Love. So why not pass it on to you as we try a new style of video as well. Now please do like the video, share the video and subscribe to the bell ding ding. Do you know what other videos are going live? There is another video on the screen. Why don't you give it a click? Uh, teamed up with Grilla Mind, GrillaMind.com forward slash Simon. Make sure you keep an eye on that and use that code. There's a crazy Black Friday sale coming where you're gonna get everything for cheap, which is what people are asking for all the time. In Greg Doucette's Power 13 cookbook, also link in the description, use code Simon15, I believe, I'm forgetting. At Simon316 on Instagram and Twitter, patreon.com forward slash Simon316, Simon.bigcartel.com for merchandise. I'm on Cameo if you want me up right here, shouting at you. I, mean, I don't get that close, but you see what I'm saying. Take care, kick the gym's ass, and I'll see you soon.